हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल वी विश टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कर्वेचर एंड रिफ्रैक्शन करेक्शन इन लेवलिंग ऑपरेशन इट्स बेटर टू हैव सम बैकग्राउंड रिलेटेड विद दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल टू बी एज वेल एज मॉडल 3 बी दैट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड अवेलेबल फॉर योर परुसल ऑन माय चैनल here i wish to discuss about the definition and the principles of curvature and refraction correction as well as though it is previously discussed in this particular module 3p will have some small recap in light of curvature and refraction correction for reciprocal leveling and even the balancing lens of sides here as you learn this particular content you will be able to demonstrate the curvature as well as refraction error in leveling work as well as you will be able to apply the corrections to enhance the degree of precision in leveling work let's try to understand about this particular error because of curvature whenever we are making use of any kind of level it gives the horizontal line of sight as you know if this is the kind of the level the line of sight is defined by the position of the diaphragm and the optical center of the object glass so as the line joining these two points is horizontal line and as far as we wish to deal with level line according to the basic definitions of leveling we won't be able to have this particular level line because of the limitation in the construction of this particular equipment as we deal with some small lens of sight the horizontal line itself can be considered to be level line but whenever we are dealing with some large sights that is whenever we are dealing with certain long lens of sight it departs considerably from level line with respect to the earth's curvature hence whenever we are dealing with certain say longer sights it is essential to consider the earth's curve surface here as you see actually this is the position of the level we want to deal with the level line which is lying parallel to mean parallel surface of the earth in reality the way we discussed here we are dealing with actually the horizontal line as such though we wish to have the reading read as v dash actually we take the reading as v double dash that means here we are having this particular v dash v double dash component in excess hence the effect of the curvature is the object sighted appear lower than they really are hence the correction due to this particular curvature is always is negative in nature whatever that particular dotted line that you see here it indicates the deviation of that particular line of sight with respect to its horizontal plane because of travel of line of sight in different densities of this particular atmosphere it is said to be the effect of refraction so here as you see this ac is the line which is defined as horizontal line but in reality here as the density in the vicinity of the equipment and the density of the atmosphere at the place where we wish to read at the staff is different the ray gets bent in the downward direction and hence that particular ray is refracted so due to the atmospheric refraction the line of sight deflects downward thus the effect of the refraction is to make the object appear higher than they really are the correction due to the refraction in the staff reading will be positive the correction 
for both curvature and refraction effects should be accounted in precise leveling work. For ordinary leveling work, here the correction is not that much essential. Here we can have this particular 200 meter as some guide value in order to consider the correction for curvature and refraction. We can quantify this particular curvature correction. Here, as you see, this particular BC component is nothing but the curvature correction. So, in triangle AOC, where O is nothing but the Earth's center, AO is nothing but the radius, this OC consists of BC, which is nothing but the stop reading grid, and OB is nothing but the radius of the Earth. So, here, as we consider this particular triangle AOC, OC square can be defined as OA square plus AC square. This OC is nothing but sum of radius of the Earth and curvature correction, and OA is nothing but the radius, as well as this D is nothing but the distance of that particular stop from the equipment hence as we solve this particular expression we will be able to quantify this particular cc as d square by 2r as we consider the radius of the earth as 6370 km here this value comes to be 0 0.000785 d square which is expressed in kilometer so here if it is to be expressed in uh, meters, this comes to be 0.0785 d square, in which here the distance is expressed in kilometers, whereas the error computed is in meters. Now here, as we consider this d to be 1 kilometer, this h comes to be approximately 8 centimeter whereas for 10 kilometers its value will be 8 meters. Similarly, we can quantify this particular refraction correction. Based on the studies, this refraction correction is assumed to be one seventh of the curvature correction. So, here it comes to be 0 0.0112 d square as considered previously, its value is positive. Now, most of the time, we wish to apply this particular curvature correction as well as refraction correction in combined manner and hence as we sum this both, it comes to be 0 0.0673 d square. Here, its value will be negative. We can also work out the distance to the visible horizon and deep of horizon. Say here as you see in this particular figure, let's say with this particular point of observation which is placed at altitude of H, whereas this A is point on the horizon. So here this particular line CA and its continuation is grazing this particular say mean sea level referred through arc BA and its continuation. So, this A is nothing but the point on the horizon. So, this particular distance to this visible horizon A can be worked out based on the expression that we computed on previous slide, which is nothing but H is equal to 0 0.0673 D square. Hence, the D will be nothing but square root of H by 0 0.0673 and this distance D will be in kilometers. If the refraction which is one seventh of curvature correction is neglected, this h will be 0 0.0785 d square and as we rearrange it, we can make use of this particular expression. Here, this capital D is nothing but the CA which is distance to the visible horizon from the point of observation expressed in kilometers whereas this small h is nothing but CB which is height of point of observation above MSL and that is expressed in meters. 
Here, through B, we can consider the leveled surface as well as through that particular point of observation, also we can consider that particular red line as leveled surface. So, here as we consider certain tangential line CE through C, here we can have this particular theta defined as the inclination of tangent at C and the tangent at A. As such, theta is the angle between the horizontal line CE drawn as tangent to the level surface at C and tangent CA drawn to the leveled surface at A. This is expressed as D of the horizon. It can be quantified as arc AB by R, which is nothing but B by R. So, we have to apply this particular correction while computing the reduced levels. It can be done by decreasing each stop reading by combined correction before computing the reduced levels or otherwise we can have that particular reduced levels increased by adding the combined correction to each of these particular computed reduced levels. Here, as we are interested in eliminating the error, it can be done by two concepts which are discussed previously, which is equalizing the backside and foreside distances as well as by adopting the effect of reciprocal leveling. Let's try to understand the concept by solving some problem. So here this is giving some data as an observer is standing on the deck of the ship just sees the top of the lighthouse which is 40 meter above mean sea level. If the height of the observer i is 8 meter above the mean sea level, determine the distance of the observer from the lighthouse. So here, say the C is the lighthouse with height of 40 meter above the arc that is defined as VAF as mean sea level. And here that observer's i is represented by this particular station D which is having height of 8 meters above mean sea level. As we have the expression h is equal to 0 0.0673 d square, hence we can work out this particular AC as 24.38 kilometers. Similarly, we can make the use of the same expression and we can work out this particular AD as 10.90 kilometers. So, the distance CD can be worked out as 35.28 kilometers. As discussed previously, this particular deep of the horizon can be expressed as a D by R and here after computing, it comes to be 13.16 minutes. This concept already we have discussed, but as you know, whenever we set the equipment exactly at midpoint over the distance to be surveyed, the error caused as A1A and B1B after computation gets nullified. Here, as we deal with longer sites, this OA and OB can be part of leveled surface. Hence, there will be additional component involved because of the curvature as well as refraction. But its magnitude will be similar for both the sides because the value involved is with the same nature and magnitude. Hence, as we balance this particular backside as well as the whole side, error because of the curvature as well as the refraction will be neglected. We discussed about this particular reciprocal leveling also. Whenever it is not possible to set the equipment exactly midway to nullify the error caused because of the inclinity of the collimation or because of that particular uh, say curvature and refraction. Here, we can consider certain typical cases, say for example, opposite banks of the large river or on either side of deep gorge or valley or wherever the equipment setup is not possible uh, to balance the site. So, 
as we adopt this particular reciprocal leveling the way we discussed previously the error because of the curvature as well as the refraction can also be neglected just to have the review here we can work out this particular h as average of apparent differences similarly we can quantify the error involved by making use of this expression the way i mentioned already we have discussed this particular situation and we have derived this particular expression in our earlier presentation so say if these are the set of the readings that are obtained through this particular reciprocal leveling exercise now we can have the similar exercise in order to determine the reduced level of the other station as well as to calculate the error involved as angular error in collimation if the distance between a and b is of 1 km so whenever that particular instrument is at a here the apparent difference works out to be 0.92 this particular reading at b can be considered to be correct reading as we deduct the error involved because of the integrity of the line of sight as well as even the error because of the curvature and refraction similarly here whenever that particular instrument is at b apparent difference works out to be 0.68 whereas the correct reading at a works out to be 0.725 minus e here this particular true difference in elevation will be average of the apparent differences and it comes to be 0.8 meter and hence this particular station b rl can be worked out as 99.305 meters having known this particular true difference in elevation as 0.8 meters we can work out the error component e by considering the corrected reading and the reading which is observed at that particular edge here whenever the equipment is at a having the inclinity of the line of sight very small or if it is exactly at a it will be zero hence this 1.625 reading can be considered to be correct reading that's why here the true difference in elevation can be worked out as 2.545 minus e minus 1.625 and similarly here whenever the equipment is at b correct reading at b will be 1.405.725 needs to be corrected by applying that particular error component and hence we can work out error here while having 1.625 deducted through this particular 2.545 minus e we have considered the line of sight inclined upward so as we get this particular e as 0.12 meter the assumption we have made about the inclinity of the line of sight to be upward is correct and accordingly we can proceed further if we get this particular answer as negative obviously the assumption that we have made would be wrong and accordingly the line of sight could be considered as downward and we can proceed with the calculations so here this error e is nothing but now sum of error involved because of the inclinity of the line of sight as well as this particular correction component and hence this el will be worked out by deducting this particular 0.0673 component through this error this error is spread over the distance in between station a and b which is nothing but the 1 km hence el by 1000 which comes to be 10.87 seconds and this will be the angular error of collimation so thank you for your attention friends i hope the concept that we have discussed about the curvature and refraction correction is clear to you in next presentation 
I will discuss about the sensitivity of the level Q for surveying equipment. So, why till then? Thank you. I wish you very happy learning.